How will you advance equity for kids in this city? Well, advance and equity for children in our, our city is, uh, is not a singular, right? It's equity for our families in this community. Uh, a child is only going to thrive and um, as well as the parents are suited, suited to provide for them. The main goal is here is that the outcome for our children has to be one where we're preparing them to compete for employment opportunities, career advancement, and a healthy lifestyle here in Silicon Valley. So how do we do that, right? I think we have to first and foremost establish our educational systems, our elementary school districts, our high school districts, our community college districts and our colleges and universities as a place of expectations. We expect our kids to go to school, right, and to learn. We want our kids to go to school and be prepared to compete in the classroom. Also, on the other side, we want to make sure our kids are healthy coming into school, that they're well fed and that food uh, is not an issue for them or distracts them from focusing in the classroom. We want our kids to come to school with some of the basic principles of please and thank you, right? Um, behavioral, behavioral skill sets that allows them to focus in the classroom and not have to spend a lot of time disrupting classrooms. The kids in our communities have to make a commitment, I believe, towards education and to see education as a pathway towards their future. Now, that value has to begin in the home. And parents, I encourage each and every one of you to model the behavior you want to see in your kids in the homes so they can repeat that behavior in the classrooms, on the high school campuses, in the college campus, and in our community as a whole. We certainly want our kids to thrive, but thriving has to be a goal. It can't just be an expectation that's spoken. Right? We have to equip our sons and daughters in a way that parents know that they are on board. Parents know that their children are competing. And parents know that their children have an opportunity at a great outcome. Okay, thank you. What is your vision for our city and how will you commit to our more vulnerable residents? Our, our more vulnerable residents, uh, don't like that term. I think that we all uh, have a level of vulnerability here um, in East Palo Alto and being a part of Silicon Valley. There's many economic factors outside of our sphere of influence in, here in East Palo Alto that we don't have control over. I mean, the uh, business community, the engine is thriving. Um, there's great companies here within our 30 mile radius of us um, that are really dictating the culture of the world. You have the Googles, Facebook, Stanford University, uh, Intel, Apple, uh, San Francisco, San Jose, uh, are all within this 30 mile reach of us. So my vision is to be a part of that, right? And to make sure that we are no longer skipped over, that we are a community that has some direct correlation to the activities of Silicon Valley, i.e. that our economic development strategy is, is intentionally designed to create tax revenue for our community. We have 70 acres of land scheduled for development in this community. We have to get some tax revenue generating businesses in this community. We need a shovel in the ground. We need cranes in the, in the sky. We need places where our local residents can work. We need restaurants. We need places of entertainment. We need places of gathering. All to be prepared right here in our own community. I really believe that once we start circulating our dollars uh, and we build up our, our economy through our small businesses and and our new partners that are coming into the community, that the tide is gonna lift for everyone. So our most vulnerable community, as you call it, uh, has to get prepared for that wave. And that means we have to get uh, a clear indication of where the 